Greetings, people of intellect. This is my book review of The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. This book has survived the test of time and, and still today it's considered the holy book among investors and, and for good reasons. It's one of the most practical books that I've encountered and it's still very much useful in modern day market conditions. The reason that I was interested and very curious about this book is because I found out that this is the book that led a Warren Buffett, THE Warren Buffett, to become the great tycoon investor that he is. And I was curious about what what the uh, what the mentor of a legend had to say about investing. And so with that I approached this book. Um, and so there's three main concepts that I came away with. The first is the difference between a speculator and an investor. Uh, a speculator is one uh, that that relies on technical analysis, means which means like uh, studying charts and and uh, focusing on the um, the numbers and the timing and and just the day to day ups and downs of of the co that company stocks. Whereas a a fundamental um, analysis of of trading is is one where you analyze the value of the company and see whether or not the value is in line with with what the market is saying and, and judge it based off of that not just um, the day-to-day -day ups and downs which which don't give you a big zoomed out view of it so judge the value of the company as a whole not just the vicissitude that it undergoes on a day-to-day -day transaction and one of the things he says um, that uh, relates to that topic is view your trades um, or your investments through the eyes of eternity which means like don't don't worry about the little ups and downs see it as as a uh, long-term investment and and approach it that way um, so you can be more forgiving of of the ups and downs and don't have to increase your blood pressure and whatnot the second concept that I came away with is the concept of Mr. Market and this is a very interesting um, concept and I think it, it, it very uh, well uh, captures what he's trying to get across so imagine you have an investment in the market um, a stocks in, in uh, company X, Y, and Z every day the the market well he personifies the market um, as a character named Mr. Market and let's say you have a uh, thousand dollars invested in, in, in the stock market every day Mr. Market which is the entire market gives you an offer on your investment someday it may give you nine hundred dollars for your investment uh, other days it may give you a thousand and fifty dollars other days it may give you twelve hundred dollars so the fact that Mr. Market comes to you every single day gives you a different evaluation of your investment uh, allows you to gain some level of calmness to to not uh, get wrapped up in, in, in the small ups and downs and feel like you have to sell or feel like you have to buy um, because every day he's coming with a different offer so it allows one to stay composed and hold on to their trade knowing that it's it's there's always going to be another offer, always going to be another offer, and it's it's just the psychology of being uh, an investor. And, and he talks a lot about the psychology about of being an investor, because he says that there's a lot of smart people who know what they should do, but due to lack of courage and and they they pull out their investment or or they just it's 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 a lot about psychology, which which is a whole different area than just having the brains to do. Um, uh, the, the trading aspect of, of investing. Um, the third concept that I came away with is the concept of, of, of margin of safety and and so this allows you to be in a better position when when you take a loss or in a better position to um, to be in profit and what it is 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 buying stocks that are undervalued basically uh, when, when the when the market price of of a certain company stocks is um, undervalued and and it actually should be higher, you're actually buying, for example, uh, a, a a a dollar's worth of stock for fifty cents. And when you do that, you put yourself in a better position and give yourself more margin to um, as as a cushion. 